Hey guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. For today's video, I'm going to be walking you through my updated nighttime skincare routine. I recently did this for my morning skincare routine. If you haven't seen that yet, I will list that below. But in the comments of that video, a lot of you guys asked for the PM version. So that is what we are going to be doing here today. I'll walk through every single step. I'll talk about the products that I'm using and then we will be ready for bedtime. Before we jump into it, please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click on that notification bell and drop a comment below sharing a product that you're currently using and loving in your nighttime skincare routine. Thank you so much for doing all of those things. It really helps to support me with YouTube algorithm, so I appreciate it so much. If you need anything from me at all, it's always listed in my description box below, including Lightroom preset filters for editing your Instagram photos, my SPF merch, discount codes, timestamps, and links to all of the products that I will be talking about today. All right, let's jump into it. All right, the first thing we need to do, of course, is remove all of this. I get to a certain point at the end of the day when all I can think about is the makeup sitting on my skin, and I need to get it off immediately when that happens. I cannot stand it. I have such a love-hate relationship with makeup because I love applying it, I love collecting it, I love trying new things, but then at the end of the day, I want literally nothing to do with it ever again. So we are going to be using the Neutrogena body oil to remove my makeup today. I know that this is technically a body oil, but there's no reason why you can't use it on the face. There's nothing about this in particular as far as the ingredients goes that makes me obsessed with it. It's really just the formula. It works so well and it's fragrance free, which is really difficult to find in a facial oil. If any of you guys know of cleansing oils that are you know, decently priced and don't have fragrances or essential oils, let me know in the comments below. I'm totally down and interested in trying more, but it's been tricky for me to find. So this is what I've been using. It's so cheap. It gets a job done. And what I do with this is apply it on a damp microfiber towel. So I got these off of Amazon. I love them. They're very soft and gentle on the skin. Soak it in water first, then put the oil on it. And that combination slips my makeup right off my face. Okay, that's better. I wanted to zoom you guys in a little bit so it's not so far away for skincare applications. So what I also love about this, I mean, look at that, right off. This formula is not greasy for an oil. I cannot deal with a greasy oil. Oh my gosh. This also works great for eye makeup, eyeliner, mascara removal. What I do for that to make sure that I am not overly tugging on the skin on my eyelid, which is just very sensitive and delicate, is just rub back and forth on the lashes themselves. So right now this towel isn't really even touching my eyelid, so I'm not like going on top of that. I just have it down below my lashes and that takes it all off. And then you don't have to worry about that thin, delicate skin that's so prone to fine lines. Okay, just applied some water to my face off camera so that we are ready for step two, which is cleanser. So I'm actually using the same exact cleanser that I used in my morning skincare routine, which is the Bybee Milk Melt Vegan Oat Milk Cleanser. This is my current favorite cleanser obsession. This formula just is my dream kind of cleanser formula. It's lightweight, it's so soft and smooth, it feels replenishing, it's not stripping. Oh my goodness, and it has some really nice hydrating and protecting ingredients in it. Things like glycerin, aloe, lactic acid, coconut extract, xylitol, vitamin E, lactobacillus ferment, and oat kernel extract. If you're curious about the lactic acid in this, it's in a smaller amount, more towards the middle to bottom of the label, if I'm remembering correctly. It's not like the purpose of it in this product is to exfoliate the skin. Lactic acid actually also serves as a really nice hydrator when it's not and a higher strength amount like you would typically find in a true exfoliant. So, hmm, gotta go wash this off now. All right, now we're ready for serum, and yes, I am still using my trusty Dermatology Needleless Serum. This has been my go-to nighttime serum for close to two years now. I love this so much, and I haven't found anything that I feel I want to replace it with, so I'm gonna keep using it. I'll talk through some of the amazing anti-aging and replenishing ingredients in this, while I am applying it. Ugh, this really stresses me out doing this without a mirror right in front of my face, but okay. Ingredients in this that I love include niacinamide, methyl glucoside phosphate. That is an ingredient that can help to boost collagen and elastin production when it's combined in a formula with amino acids, and this formula has amino acids. This also has peptides, specifically matrixyl 3000, great ingredient for anti-aging. This has something called sodium, I butcher this, are we surprised? Chondro chondroitin, 
sure, sulfate, which is similar to hyaluronic acid from a plumping and hydrating standpoint, but on top of that, it also has hyaluronic acid. This has ceramides, which help to replenish and renew the skin, panthenol, which calms and soothes, and a lot more on top of all of that. So I'm addicted to this stuff. I cannot get enough. The formula is great. It's lightweight. It's very silky. It feels super hydrating, and it's just the perfect serum to wear underneath a moisturizer. Then you really lock in all of those amazing ingredients. I cannot recommend this enough. So I do have a 20% off discount code with Dermatology. It's always in the description boxes of my videos, but if you click that link and then go ahead and purchase, you will see that 20% off applied automatically at checkout. Now, moment of silence for the number one best ingredient to ever happen to my life. I do not know where I would be if I didn't have this in my life. That's not being dramatic. This has transformed my skin in a way that nothing else has even come close to. And that ingredient, you guessed it, is tretinoin. If you're not familiar with tretinoin, it's the prescription strength version of retinol essentially. So it's a form of a retinoid. I'm gonna, <laughs> I almost went into the whole discussion of how this works from a conversion process, but I already have a couple of videos up talking all about tretinoin, retinoids in general, the differences between retinol, retinaldehyde, tretinoin, how to use them, how to minimize irritation with use, etc., etc., etc. So I'm going to list those videos below. I'm not going to dive into that whole spiel here because we would be here for like 40 minutes and I've already done that for you guys. But tretinoin is just one of those ingredients that you can't beat when it comes to anti-aging. It has so many different benefits. It helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It helps to fade hyperpigmentation or melasma. It helps to just overall improve the appearance of your skin tone and it also helps with texture. I didn't even know my skin could be this smooth. Like, I still am shocked sometimes when I look at my skin. I did not know this was possible, but it is with tretinoin. So all that to say, it helps to smooth the skin, helps to get rid of texture, but on top of that, it helps to reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. It helps to fade hyperpigmentation. So if you have melasma or you have a lot of scarring left over, dark spots from breakouts, it helps with that. It also just helps to kind of even out your overall skin tone give you glowier, just more luscious, beautiful, youthful, healthy looking skin. There is nothing like Tret skin. And if you use Tretinoin, you know exactly what I'm talking about. But on top of that, bonus, it also helps with acne. So that's why I was originally prescribed it. I had really brutal hormonal acne few years ago, I still get breakouts in that region, but this has helped substantially. So I still do need this for acne, but I'm also using it for anti-aging. And when hopefully I grow out of the hormonal acne. I mean, let's be honest, I don't know if that'll ever happen, but if it does, I will still continue to use this for just the overall skin smoothness and anti-aging. So I'm actually getting tretinoin from a brand called Agency right now. They're sending this to me for free, but this is not in any way, shape or form sponsored. And I'm still a little bit confused about what this brand exactly is, but how they presented it to me is they said it was a sub brand. I think of Curology or maybe like a sister brand or something. So Curology is more so focused on acne prone skin. So there will be some ingredients that overlap between Curology and Agency like Tretinoin because Tret helps with acne and with anti-aging, but Curology will have more ingredients available that help with acne. Those certain ingredients are not all going to be available via Agency, but then Agency will have different anti-aging ingredients that are not available through Curology, if that makes sense. So I go in with a very small amount of tretinoin. I don't know if pea-sized is the correct size description. I feel like it's a little bit bigger than a pea, but not by much. So a little bit goes a long way. I apply it all over my face and my skin is typically able to tolerate application before moisturizer, but if my skin is feeling a little bit more sensitive than normal, then I will apply tretinoin after moisturizer. And I describe all of that in that video when I talk about how to use tretinoin and help you to figure out where in your skincare routine that should fall. Tretinoin is the one product or ingredient that I don't bring down to my neck though, the reason being that the skin on our neck typically does not respond well to it and it can become very irritated very easily. So instead, I will use something that is less irritating and this is a retinol serum, but not retinol with an O, retinol with an A because this is retinaldehyde. So retinaldehyde is essentially one step in the conversion process closer 
to tretinoin than retinol with an O. <laughs> I said I wasn't gonna do this and here I am. I can't help myself. Again, I talk about all of this in that tretinoin video, but it's essentially 10 times more effective than retinol. So this is the Geek and Gorgeous 101 A Game 10 0.1% retinol serum. I love that. It's not necessarily the easiest ingredient to find at that strength. So that's why I get it from Geek and Gorgeous. They are an amazing brand. They have so many great products. Oh my goodness. To get free shipping on their website though, you do need to hit a certain dollar threshold. I can't think of what that is off the top of my head, but I'll list some of my favorite products from them below that I use all the time to help you hit that threshold if you would like to. So I am going to go ahead and apply that to my neck. The other place that I'm going to apply that is actually around my eyes as well. Same kind of situation here. That skin is just so delicate. So you wanna be careful with stronger retinoids around the eye area. So I will just apply the retinol serum because I know my skin can tolerate it. We're almost done, I'm ready for moisturizer. My go-to at night is the Dermatology Peptide Night Cream. I talked about this in a recent video where I shared my top five favorite moisturizers. If you haven't seen that yet, I will list that below, but this easily made the cut because it is so, so nice. Let's switch things up and start off with the neck first, shall we? So this has six different forms of peptides in it which are going to help to improve the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. They help with skin elasticity, firmness, texture, tone. Love that for the neck. We need anti-aging in the neck, at least I know I will. There are also some really nice replenishing and conditioning ingredients in this, like ceramides, elantoin, and cholesterol. So I love this for both the neck and the face. It's a really, really nice formula. Oh my goodness. Definitely feels elevated, feels luxury. It's so soft, it's creamy, it's deeply moisturizing, but it's not too thick and heavy. So this is the type of thing that I really think would work with almost all skin types, unless you are crazy, crazy dry and you need something like really thick and occlusive. Or if you're just super, super oily and you can't stand a moisturizing cream, then you won't love it. But otherwise, oh, she's good. Okay, so I'll always bring that moisturizer up and around the eye area as an eye cream, but that is not all I do around the eyes. I finish off with my CeraVe Healing Ointment, my absolute favorite nighttime eye cream. This, I mean, it's not an eye cream, it's an ointment, but I use it as my nighttime eye cream because it is just thick and occlusive and the best thing for locking in moisture. So that I don't have to stress about the fine lines around my eyes getting worse too quickly. Obviously they're gonna get worse. I'm aware, I'm only 27, but we're trying to slow the progression, people. That is the goal of skincare, isn't it? This makes for a great lip moisturizer as well, so I'm gonna do some of that while we're here, but this just has a lot of different occlusive ingredients in it, like petrolatum paraffin mineral oil dimethicone that will help to lock in that moisture. Great for around the eyes, great for the lips, great for barrier repair. And then this has some of CeraVe's go-to amazing skincare ingredients like ceramides, hyaluronic acid, vitamin E, panthenol, cholesterol, so many nice things in this. It's just, honestly, this might be my favorite part of the whole routine because it's like the last step. I know I can get in bed. It feels so nice and soft. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. Be careful though not to get this in your eyes or you will not be able to see, okay. All right, you guys, that is it for my nighttime skincare routine, which means that we have made it to the end of this video. I really hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you found this helpful. And as always, if you're interested in picking anything up after watching this video, everything that I mentioned will be listed and linked in my description box below. And let me know if you do decide to pick anything up, what that item is, what those items are. Is there anything that you're using in your skincare routine that I didn't talk about that you think that I need to try out? Let me know, of course. If there's anything that you would like to see from me next on this channel, please let me know in the comments below because I'm always looking through to add things to my list. I love hearing from you guys and hearing what you would like to see. So if you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Click on that notification bell and send my channel to a friend. Thank you so, so much for doing all of those things. It really, really helps to support me. So I appreciate you so much. Stay tuned for my next video that is coming in a few days, but until then, I hope you have a great few days. Good night. Night.